Alright guys, so this is Dr. Octoconopus, or Doc. In today's video, I'll be showing my LEGO Saw customs, which are pretty much based on Saw 1 and 2. I've got Jigsaw, Billy the Puppet, and Amanda in the pig mask. So yeah, let's get started. So I guess I'll start with Billy the Puppet because um, he was pretty much the easiest one to make. And he's definitely one of my simpler customs, so, yeah. His whole outfit's pretty much just black. Um, his torso was one that I already had. It, it, it looked just like this when I got it. All I did was I painted on the red tie and the red handkerchief. I didn't have any short legs to use, so I just took the old um, custom ones from my Mario and I... Just painted them black with red shoes, just to get some legs made real quick. So yeah, you can see where I glued them and stuff. So yeah, those are custom legs. He's got his long black hair, which I just got out of a set. He's got his white face, with his red eyes, uh, the eyebrow things. His cheekbones, a cleft chin, the little uh, square mouth that he has with the red lips, a swirly things on his cheeks. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to Billy. So here's Jigsaw. You can see that I used a similar design to my uh, Ghostface minifigure for his robe. I just took a uh, dress piece and I painted it to look like part of the robe and I think that works pretty well. His whole robe is pretty much just black but it has some red detailing. Like these red parts on his arms. He's got his red shirt, um, with the collar thing, and that actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the robe and all the way around to the back. There's a little split in the middle there. The collar continues all the way up to his hood, so there's a little bit of red there as well. He's got his face, which I think turned out pretty okay. He's got black gloves, and on this hand, I made his little wrist blade thing. Um, I made that by basically cutting the tip off of a uh, Lord of the Rings sword piece, and I think that works pretty good. I, I really like how it turned out. It looks nice and clean. The hood's made out of clay, in case you were wondering. I now have three figures where I've used the same hood design, so that's kind of cool. And last but not least, we have Jigsaw's Apprentice. Amanda. She's got a robe on and it's pretty much the same as Jigsaw's. It has all the same basic details. It's just um, there's no black on it. It's all red. It looks a little bit orange in camera, but um, in person it looks much more red. It's just, you know, the camera that's making it look kind of orange. Another minor difference is that her hood's just painted onto the back of the body because, you know, she's not wearing it. And uh, this split thing stands out a little bit more. But yeah, basically everything else on the body is the same, including the wrist blade thing. The big difference is, of course, the pig mask, which I'm really happy with. I, I love this pig mask. It looks awesome, in my opinion. I, I think this just might be one of my favorite customs I've done so far. Um, you can see that the snout, the ears, and the hair, they're all made out of clay just like Jigsaw's hood. I painted the mask in kind of a darkish flesh tone color. The wrinkles on the snout, the nostrils, the little mouth, black eyes, long hair, detailing on the ears, and yeah, that's all there is to say about Amanda. So those are my saw customs. And uh, before I go, I'd just like to point out that uh, this year is actually the 10th anniversary of the Saw movie franchise, so I think I picked the perfect time to upload this video, it's, and it's especially considering that Halloween's just around the corner. Speaking of anniversaries, it's also the 40th anniversary of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so yeah, that's a bit of a coincidence. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more, and see you next time.